Hi, this is King of Review. Find the number of x-intercepts of the quadratic function y equals x squared. So in this problem, we want to know the number of x-intercepts. Let's think about an x-intercept. If we were to plot a line like this, where does this line cross the x-axis? Well, it crosses right here. The x-intercept is where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis. So right here. Now our function y equals x squared, when you graph that, you get a parabola like this. Now where does this parabola cross or touch the x-axis at? Well, it does right here. So you can see that it crosses or touches the x-axis at x equals 0. That's right there. So it has one x-intercept. You can also solve this problem algebraically. We have the equation y equals x squared. Now if you look at the x-intercept right here, the y-coordinate of an x-intercept is 0 because when a graph touches the x-axis, the y-value of that point is 0. So at this point here, it will have some x-value, but the y-coordinate will be 0. Applying that to our equation, if we set y equal to 0, we get 0 equals x squared. Now we can solve for x. If we expand this portion here, we get 0 equals x times x. Now in order to get 0 for the answer here, one of these terms must be equal to 0. We know this from the zero product property. If you have two numbers that you multiply together to get 0, either a or b must be 0 here in order to get 0 for the answer. So we could have a times 0 equals 0 or 0 times b equals 0. So, in our problem, we know that either this term or this term must be 0 to get 0 for the answer. So we'll set each of them equal to 0, but since they're the same term, we only need to write them down once. So, x equals 0. So we know that our x-intercept is at the point x equals 0, and that's right here. And that's what the graph shows, too. So there's one x-intercept. Thanks for watching.